<laughs> as we move forward, real quick, before we go into our 20 questions, you know what I'm saying, sports edition for today, I had a little, I, I want to take the time and have a little history lesson, right? Because we've been talking about changing narratives, right? Change the narrative. We've been talking about Prairie View football, Prairie View athletics, right, in general, but specifically Prairie View football. Because the reality is the SWAT community, they only care about football. That they re- that's, that's 80%. Let's just be honest, right? 80% football, 50% basketball, and then 5% for everything, all the other Olympic sports, right? Football is the main thing. But I think we need I think we need a little history lesson, right? Because I think when the majority of the SWAC, majority of those who are outside the SWAC, we just be talking about the SWAC and HBCUs, when they be talking about Prairie View, even in 2023, see, what they're talking about is this. This is what they're discussing. They're discussing these 80 games. That's what their mindset on. That's what their thought process on, right? And back in September 26, 19, 1998, right, we broke that streak. That 80 game losing streak was gone, right? And listen, back in that time, I was a little boy. I ain't know nothing about Prairie View's, Prairie View's losing streak. And I'm I was in the swag. I was going to games of Grambling, games of Jackson State, games of Alcorn, games of Southern. Like I was up and down, straight from Louisiana. But at the end of the day, when I came to Prairie View AM University. I really had no idea about the losing streak until I got here and then I started to hear it, right? Working in the in a Panther, right? Working as a sports editor, understanding a little bit more of the history and seeing like, oh, wow, 80 games in a row. But listen, them 80 games was when I was a baby. Like, like we're talking about something in the 80s and 90s. That's what we're talking about. When the SWAC is talking, when they're talking about pre-V, in their mind, they're still thinking about the 80s and 90s. And, bro, we in 2023. And literally, they need to catch up. Because it's like they don't remember and forgot about this. See, I was there for this. I was in Birmingham on that cold day. And I remember this championship. I remember the difference in this team and these interviews there. Ever since we got those scholarships back, how the tables have completely turned. And this PV is not the same PV that people are talking about. And I think PV Nation needs to understand that as much as other swag schools need to understand that. This is not the time of the past. This is a time of today. And today, Prairie View is not only a comparable sports and athletic program, not only a comparable football team, but a good SWAC football team that's on the verge of being great if we just tap into what we already have and have access to. And I feel like the rest of the SWAC really is worried about that. See, that's the thing, right? When you got those people that talk down to you sometimes, when you think about those individuals that's around you, and yet they down you all the time, right? They're trying to remind you of these times that you were away in the past, right? And you no longer that anymore. The reality is they hating because they see the ability in you to actually exceed them <laughs> and, and to be and to be at a position to where you can look down upon them. Because, see, the rest of SWAC knows the facilities are here. There's no question about that. They understand what it is. They understand, really, in all the other sports, right? Because, again, we've been, we've been vying for Commissioner's Cups, I mean, for years now at this point. So they, they understand that, but they know, man, the lone thing that's there is football, and that's the king of college athletics. And if Prairie View can tap into their location in Texas, they can tap into the facilities they have and get people to put their eyes on them. Oh, man. Transfers ain't just going to Jackson State then. They're going to make their way down 290, right? And they understand that. So that's why they keep wanting to remind you of this in the past so that you don't speak up, so that you don't talk up and talk about what the reality is. Because the reality is, this ain't PV in the past. This is PV now in 2023. See, see, when that Panther was on, on the scene, there was an 80-game losing streak going on. But, but that Panther is not this Panther. That Panther is not the same as this Panther. See, that Panther is a Panther that won a SWAC championship back in 2009. And the reality is, this Panther is not the same as 2023. See, that, that Panther won a championship without the facilities, without, without the money behind it, without, without the glitz and the gram, glamour, and now that's there. And I know the rest of the swag understands that. Look, they not stupid. They not stupid. That's why they keep reminding us of something. That ain't none of, I, I ain't even lived through that. Maybe, maybe some of y'all did, right? I ain't even lived through that. I don't know nothing about PV losing. All I know is about PV being competitive and being super competitive. Matter of fact, so competitive that we have, do you understand that from 2009 to today, we have the best win percentage in the SWAC, better than Grambling, better than Southern, better than Jackson State, who just went two years without losing the SWAC game. But since 09, 
the team with the best winning percentage in this conference is Prairie View. Now, I understand. So I understand. Listen, SWAC championships also have to be won with that, right? And so that's the reason that we have to break through and add championship belts. Because once you add championship belts, that's when you shut the haters up. But I also need us to realize that, bro, we're not PV from back in the day. We're a PV that's always competitive. So this mindset and thought process to where Texas Southern is continually looked at as a better program than us, as uh, picked a place higher than us in rankings, et cetera. When has Texas Southern ever won anything? Ten years ago, which they got stripped of that title, right, because they was playing ineligible players. So you're talking about 20 – Texas Southern ain't had a winning season in 20 years. Do y'all understand that, yo? But people talk about PV as if we are the Valley of the West. No, Texas Southern is the Valley of the West. And it's crazy that people even would uplift Valley over Prairie View. And every year, somebody's talking about Valley and how Valley is going to be something. Valley is going to continue to be what it is, a school that's going to create great teachers, teachers for the South. But they ain't never going to be Jerry Rice ever again. It's not It's not coming. It's gone. Those days are long gone, just like those days of the 80-game losing streak. It ain't coming back anymore at all whatsoever. This is the new PV. And the SWAT needs to get used to it, right? And matter of fact, PV Nation needs to get used to it. And PV Nation needs to act like we are what we are. Because over the last 12 to 13 years, since 09, we've won 72 SWAC games. 72 games in the SWAC. Again, more than Gramlin, more than Southern, more than Jackson State. And again, I understand because I know somebody's going to be watching this and say, how many SWAC championships y'all got? Though? I understand. Listen, only one SWAC championship at the time. That's the difference. It's what we talked about earlier, the finishing. The finishing is going to complete the change of this mindset that these individuals out here that are still holding on to the past are holding on to. Because let me tell you something. Brian Jenkins didn't care nothing about that when he transferred over. Caleb Johnson didn't care about, not, care about that when he came here. And a plethora of other players. They don't know nothing about PV in an 80-game losing streak. What they know is about what I see here right now, right? And what I see right now is a comparable team, a comparable athletic department that's going to put us in a position to get it done. And it just reminds me, the only thing I keep thinking about, right, it's like, it's like this guy that we're like, like you're, be, you're beating the mess out of him, right? I mean, he's on the ground and you're just, I mean, you're, you're just, you're massacring him right now, right? It's a one-on-one -on -one and you're killing him. And while he's on the ground, he's trying to remind you about a time back in the day when he used to beat up on you, like when you were a little kid, like a long time ago, that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to remind you of that time way back in the past. Man, man, I used to I used to kill you back in the day. Man, when you was little, man, I used to put them hands on you. You couldn't touch me at that time. Now you're big and bad, but you couldn't touch me this time. Don't you realize we we killing you right now, though? Don't you realize you're being, you being massacred? If the ambulance don't come, you're going to die. Like, you understand that, right? That's the reality of the situation, right? With multiple teams in the SWAC, I mean... We have the best win percentage in the SWAC, have won the most games in the SWAC, and we have winning streaks over four, four of the teams in the SWAC over the last few years, right? So, again, people are talking about something that's a long time ago. But listen, it, it, it ain't that no more. So they need to get on a new train. PV Nation also needs to get on a new train and realize what we are and what we have and put that support behind what we are and what we have. But anyway, man, I'm, I'm off my... I'm I'm off my rocker now. Listen, because they got me they got me upset because these people keep talking about this stuff like this 2023. I don't know nothing about that. Ever since I went to PV, when I was at PV, you won a SWAC championship. Ever since then, we've been vying for SWAC championships. We've been vying for SWAC West titles. I mean, how many years do we go back and look and say we we finished second to a Gremlin or we finished second to a Southern? But people are speaking and talking as if PV has just been the bottom of the barrel <laughs> since since the 2000s. Like, what are y'all talking about? People have no idea what they're talking about. They're just talking crazy. But listen, I don't just put that on them. I put that on me. I put that on us. And I put that on us because we don't finish. But I'm hoping Coach Bubble change that mindset and help us play four quarters and full seasons so we finish and get the job done. Because ain't nothing going to shut nobody up like winning the swag. So I'm done. Listen, I'm done. I'm off my rocker. Let me see. My bad. Nobody, listen, nobody, Jimmy, nobody gives PV credit, but we got to give them a little history lesson. You know what I'm saying? We got to give them a little history lesson, not only for them, but for us too as well, because the alumni also need to know. 
You know what I'm saying? Listen, they they don't. And I think that's why we don't support it. Please, listen, I send it to you. You ain't got a screenshot it. I'll shoot you an email. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? What's good, Charles? Thank you for stepping in, man. Thank you for coming through. For sure, it's facts. You know, say, hey, listen, send it to Coach Bubba so you know, because this ain't the this ain't the old PV. I don't know what people are talking about. Like like my boy Jerry say, this is the new PV. We changing the narrative. I don't know what people are talking about. This PV of the old eighty game lose. What they talking about? We got the best winning percentage in the SWAC since '09. Like how how we valley, how we valley in the West when Texas Southern they had a winning a winning they haven't had a winning season in twenty years. This Andrew Body, do y'all realize this Andrew Body team? Everybody's hyping up. Didn't even win, didn't even have a winning percent uh winning season last year. That's the reality. I'm not making stuff up. That's the facts, right? They probably won't, they may not even have a winning season this year. This is the reality. I'm just speaking truth. So don't let nobody all these rankings, all this stuff like that, they'll make no difference because people don't know nothing about nothing. All right. Anyway, let me let me get off that. You feel me? Because y'all done got me hyped up, probably got myself hyped up because I ain't do nothing. I'll put it on here, right? Let's keep going, man. So 